he says uh, uh, it, the horrible thing was on the sea. He says I was thinking 99 percent it was dead. We were dead. We come to Bulgaria and the police uh, shoot one uh, up and one down. When he shoot one person, he killed. Uh, yeah, he died. Where? In here. In Bulgaria? Yeah, in Bulgaria. One of my group person is dead. And then they are... what is dead? Dead, yeah. In 1999, uh, I drove uh, with a group of people from Germany, uh, actually from all over Germany, to Albania to help refugees uh, who uh, fled for the cause of a war, which was a pretty difficult mission as we were not willing to support any of the war parties, not at all. We still thought it's important to, to help those people who are victims of this war. And there it still was possible to uh, help on a self-organized level. Um, that was really, really difficult uh, in the Balkan states, especially in Croatia and in uh, Slovenia. Hello everybody. Uh, we are on our way uh, to the camp in uh, Spielfeld. Um, we started today with a meeting with people from many European countries. Um, some of the cars of Hope Wuppertal uh, Group went to uh, Croatia where uh, authorities are building a new camp to provide refugees with uh, aid there. Uh, the other part uh, went to Spielfeld, Austria, together with uh, these people from uh, different uh, European countries. Um, earlier today there was a Nazi demonstration with uh, about 500 Nazis here in Spielfeld. Um, that's finished now but there are still some small groups of Nazis moving around so we have to take care of it. And um, well we move to the camp now. Um, here at Spielfeld people say uh, that because of the Nazi demo uh, it's impossible to come into the camp, but it uh, should be possible to get some contact with refugees uh, that are between uh, behind fences. Uh. So we have a spontaneous small demonstration right in front of the camp in Spielfeld, Austria. You see here, police is blocking the street, but actually the situation is not very tense. Everybody is peaceful. The police also very relaxed so I think it's a good act of solidarity I will try to give you some pictures from the camp inside I don't know if it's possible but I will try it this is the line from the police blocking the street and over there you can see no you can't see We are 
at the camps, entrance of Shantir in Slovenia, and I think thousands or more refugees are coming from the train. Refugees are welcome here. Say it loud, say it clear. Refugees are welcome here. In the evening, uh, on Saturday night, uh, we went to uh, a camp in Gornia Radgona. We were, a we were able to deliver uh, our uh, aid there and uh, made an appointment for the next day uh, to help. On the next day, uh, we went again there and uh, helped, uh, also distributed uh, our aid uh, directly to refugees, especially clothes and shoes and stuff like that. We made uh, packages uh, for lunch to give to refugees. Um, the organization and the atmosphere was better as in St. and in Spielfeld. Uh, it was a possible to have contact with refugees um, which are not very long there. They are there uh, to uh, ease the, the bottleneck situation at the Austrian-Slovenian border. They stay there for a couple of hours, eat something, and if they come late at night they can sleep there. They have sleeping places for about 1,000 people, so sometimes people have to um, sleep on the, on the floor. Um, the, the condition of people there is uh, better as we saw in, in many other uh, camps and as people told us how conditions are in other, other camps. Some um, policemen and some soldiers uh, were pretty relaxed. But in overall, the situation is pretty bad. There were uh, policemen uh, who were shouting against uh, refugees and pushed them if they went not fast enough. Um, and the refugees are very isolated. We already saw that as we were driving through the camp, there was a convoy of six buses uh, accompanied with two police cars and they went to every red traffic light so uh, it had to go fast and it's not possible for ordinary people in Slovenia to have contact with the refugees. Even for volunteers it's often very very difficult. We were very lucky and very happy that uh, we managed to get in and uh, help refugees and also talk to them. Um, the most times the first thing refugees ask is where are we because nobody tells them from the authorities uh, if they go in a bus or a train where this train or bus is going to they have no idea if they get out where they are at that moment so it's very important to get in contact to refugees to inform them where they are and what's planned and what will be the next stage um, because it's very confusing for, for people if they are put in trains and buses and don't know where they are heading to. Um, today we will go to uh, Slavonsky Brod and maybe also to Baspa and Opatovac, which are three uh, places with refugee camps in Croatia. Uh, the biggest part of our group from Kazapov Wuppertal is already there and we will join them again. Um, in uh, Slavonsky Brod um, authorities are building a new camp and uh, they want to concentrate uh, this as a hotspot also for it registration. Um, we will bring some aid uh, from Ljubljana, Slovenia uh, to Croatia um, because much things are needed there. Uh, in Opat Opatovac and Babska people for instance are sleeping outside in minus, with minus degrees so it's very cold, uh, the people of our group that are already there, they wrote us that uh, the water they were using to cook tea was frozen this morning, they couldn't use it, and that at a point where people were still sleeping outside. So it's very important to monitor the situation there. We don't know what we can do there uh, for, for the media because it's absolutely forbidden to film in many of these camps. Uh, but we will see what we can do.
standing and what my position is. Maybe I start way back in the 1980s. In the 1980s we occupied buildings as I was living in Amsterdam where people found places to work and to live. Nobody asked for papers so many people who were considered by the state and by state laws as illegal were finding a job there and place to live because nobody asked for these papers. It worked very well and I still don't understand why is a state considering people as illegal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Still, it also was important to help in the state-organized camps to monitor the situation there and to uh, be able to film, which was not allowed, and to make pictures, which, which was also not allowed. And uh, some people even uh, did things like stealing blankets from the Red Cross and the UN, uh, CHR, uh, UNHR. Uh, to give to uh, refugees as they told refugees who had to sleep in uh, unheated tents it was really cold at night but uh, those official NGOs and uh, UN organizations just thought well we don't have blankets anymore we knew they had them and some people managed uh, to steal some of these blankets and uh, distribute them uh, to refugees so it's always a difficult question. You don't want to support these state-organized camps, but you also want to report and to monitor the situation and maybe use some gaps to help people which wouldn't receive any help at all if you would not be there. So that's basically something which is causing a conflict in, in, inside myself all the time during this trip. We are in Serbia now. Uh, these are buses on their way uh, to sit or more or better uh, they are waiting. But it's heated. It's not full of cups. Das ist hier das einzige Polizeifahrzeug, das wir sehen. Und es ist auf große Abstand von den Flüchtlingen. Auf sehr große Abstand. Die Flüchtlinge sind nämlich hier. Hier stehen alle Bussen, die dann später die Flüchtlinge zum Bahnhof in Sitt bringen, wenn der Zug da ist. Es ist eine sehr gemütliche, ruhige Atmosphäre, im Gegensatz zu den Camps, wo wir in der EU waren, wo die Leute also von Polizisten direkt begleitet werden, eingesperrt werden und nirgendwo hin dürfen.
So how long was your journey until here? It's a far to go to India. The far to go to India was a very dangerous road. We were from the outside, and it was a very dangerous road. The road was very dangerous. I see the journey was very dangerous, and especially he crossed the water from Turkey to Greece, and the life made him to be. Made him decide to uh, take this journey. And where do you want to go? Kujam Khaimin. Khaimin from the Sweat Yard, Arafay Farnan. I enjoy the Ramat with a good Darsh for Masha. You want to go somewhere to study, like Sweden or Finland, anywhere. Okay. You want to study. Do you want to tell us something about your journey or about your life before you flee? میگویم ما خیلی چیزی راجع به سفرت یا همین چیز بگوی. تو سه سفر دست. سه سفر. در دبوزیا از ایران اب دیگر بگوش دیم. ما در افغانستان و دنیا مدم. دیگر آشش آشش بگویم. در افغانستان و دنیا مدم فشار زندگیو نمیشد. درس مفانی امنیت نداشتیم. باز در ایران هم که بودیم هیچ امنیت نداشتیم. درس نمیشد مفانی فشار زیاد بگویم. Uh, he was born in uh, Afghanistan, but uh, the war made them to this. Uh, they decide to go to Iran, but uh, in Iran they were also not safe. Uh, life pressure made them decide to take this journey. And what was the most horrible thing on your journey? Yeah, but the thing is the safari too. یعنی داستانش مثلا در کو ترس بزرد در دریا در کجا در دریا، در دریا که بود دیگه خطر 99 درصد مرگ زندگی بود خیلی سخت بود به چاره نبود این سیز در هاری بلکین باست در سی سیز ای باست دیگه 99 پرسن ایت باست دید ایت باست دید اوکی سو یو ویند ویده بوت اوف در سی با کشتی رفته با اقبادی Yes, it was a boat, but it was small. It was for 20 people, but there were 60 people inside. Okay, the boat was for 20 people. You were 60 people in the boat. So, um, was you treated well by the people that offered you the boat? I was a very good person. 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 They don't care. Okay. Okay. Is there something else that you want to tell us? That you want to tell to German people, for example, because we are a German media team. We are not afraid to be mad at German. I don't know if I should say that I'm not afraid of German. But I'm not afraid of the fact that 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 I'm Okay, thank you very much. I wish you all the best for your journey and please stay safe. Also your family. Thank you. Thank you.